Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. I have a different video today. I'm gonna do an empties video where I'm gonna show you everything that I've been collecting for the past six months. To the average beauty consumer, it might not seem like that much stuff, but trust me when I say that like my job is to test new makeup. So if I finished it up, it means I really liked it and I'm gonna share it with you guys. But before I start showing you guys what is in the contents of this bag, please make sure you are subscribed down below, little red button. As per usual, Beauty With Me comes out every Monday at 11 a.m. I actually end up testing a lot more makeup than I do like hair and skin. So I don't have a ton of makeup empties, but I will show you what I do have. So the first up is this mascara. It's the Catrice Glamour Doll Waterproof Mascara. I really like Catrice mascaras, especially the ones that have the silicone brush tips. It's really easy to get between your eyelashes, it really volumizes and it also defines pretty well. So next up is this one. This is a mascara from a Korean brand called Etude House and it's called the Curl Fix Mascara. It doesn't say it's waterproof, I don't think, but it is. I'm embarrassed to say I've had this for maybe a year. So I kind of finally decided to retire it. It's actually one of my favorite mascaras. The brush has an interesting comb. On one side, it's very, very short bristles and the other side, they're very long. I like to use the short side, my bottom, eyelashes and then the long side for my top, but then for like detail shots, I'll twist it over and use this, the shorter bristles. And it can give you like the prettiest, like eye opening effect, holds a curl really well. This eyeliner from Well People, this one kind of dried up on me, I think because I didn't really close it all the way. The formula is good, it's not the most like water resistant from Well People, which is a very green brand. It's not every day you find like a pretty decent liquid liner in that kind of arena. I think that the brush is a little bit on the nubby, like thick side. I think it would be a little bit easier to do like precise work if it was slightly thinner. This is the Jouer Lip Cream in Fraise Bonbon. This is a liquid lipstick that I've had for a really long time, like maybe two, almost three years, and it dried out because I didn't screw the cup on. But it is a beautiful liquid lipstick, it's really good. I I highly recommend this line from Jouer. This one actually applies quite thin on the lips so it doesn't feel crusty or cakey on and it has a really great color selection. So this is my Beauty Blender Bubble, the light pink one that came out. I mean, I love Beauty Blenders, who doesn't? But this one actually was really, really soft. Like the Beauty Blender is soft, but this one's like softer. And then I dropped it in the bathroom of a hotel. I was just like, gross. I've been using this Dermablend Makeup Dissolver, which really cuts through waterproof makeup like fast. I will say it does sting just a little bit, but it works so quickly that I was willing to overlook that. This is a lab sample, so it's not the final packaging. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm, and this is really good. It also cuts through waterproof makeup really fast. This one doesn't sting, but it is in a bomb, so it's like less conducive for travel. So after I cleanse with the oily makeup removers, I always double cleanse with some sort of cleanser. And I finished finally my Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It was sitting in my shower and it's really nasty now. I did finish all of it. I really liked it. It has like a kind of bouncy gel texture that feels really nice on. It smells like roses because it has rose water in it. If you guys have been watching the show for a while, you might know that I went to Renee Rulo, who's an esthetician, um, to get a facial from her in December. She gave me a bunch of product after the facial and I've been using it pretty much since then. And this is one of my favorites, it's the Pore and Wrinkle Perfecting Serum. It has a bunch of acids in it, so it's really great at like evening out skin tone. It helps with acne and like whiteheads and stuff like that. It doesn't make my skin irritated, it's very gentle. The Anti-Cyst Treatment, so this I love. This is a serum that specifically targets like cyst-like breakouts and that's like the types of breakouts that are like under the skin, they hurt. I don't know how this thing works, but it does. It just like cuts down the healing time of my cysts, basically. So I have one more acne product, and that is the Dr. Pimple Popper Acne Spot Treatment from SLMD. So that's actually Dr. Pimple Popper's uh, skincare line. It stands for Sandra Lee MD. This is her acne spot treatment. It's 2% salicylic acid, and it comes out in a little roller ball that makes it really easy to just like kind of slap onto a zit. I kept this in my bedside table. Does this happen to you? Cause like, I feel like every time I'm like about to drift off to sleep and I touch my face and I'm like, I have a pimple. And you don't want to like get out of bed to like get your pimple cream. So I just keep this in my bedside table for those moments when I don't want to get up and I put it on and then I go to sleep. This is the Pharmacy Green Screen SPF 30 sunscreen. This is probably my favorite 
facial sunscreen. It feels like moisturizer, it's super lightweight. The active ingredients in this are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, so it doesn't have any of the harmful coral killing ingredients in it that a lot of sunscreens do. It's not greasy, it layers well under makeup. I love it. This is the Burt's Bees Mango Moisturizing Lip Balm. Used it all up, scraped it <laughs> at the bottom over here. It smells really good. I am a Burt's Bees lip balm fan for life. I love the original lip balm specifically because it goes on matte and I like that because you can put it on before lipstick and it won't compromise the finish. These like kind of flavored ones of the Burt's Bees line, they're a little bit on the shiny side so they're not as good for that. But if I were to choose, I would just always go for the original. I love the original. So the next lip product is the Bite Agave Lip Mask. Now this is a thick lip mask. It's a lip mask, but I pretty much just use it as a lip balm. It's very hydrating, it's very thick. So I only use this at night. It's great for the winter. I actually use this up, I think in February. So it did see me through the entire winter season. It lasts forever too. All right, so onto hair. I've been using this Orbe Mask for Beautiful Colors pretty much since I got my hair colored in January. It smells really, really, really good. Made my hair super soft. So next up I have this pomade from Fat Boy. It's called the Sea Salt Pomade and I use like most of it and then it kind of dried out toward the end, but it's basically a kind of gritty pomade that you would get onto your hand, that get on my hands, and then I would use it to the mid lengths and ends of my hair to kind of fluff it out and give it a little bit of PC texture. It's really Really, really nice. It has a matte finish, so it doesn't look too shiny in the hair. It smells really good. And last but not least, potentially the most boring part of the video, deodorant. I've gone through two deodorants, the first of which is this one from Ursa Major. It's called the Hop and Fresh deodorant. It's 100% natural, it has no aluminum and that sort of thing. If you guys watched my deodorant testing video, you know that I don't sweat that much. I don't smell that much, so I do find this a regular deodorant and not an antiperspirant is fine just to use every day. This one's really nice, it smells kind of eucalyptus-y. It is a little bit on the drier side, so when you put it on your armpits, you do kind of have to rub a bit so it like warms up, but then it totally applies easily and it's fine. And the next one is this one from, I think it's spelled Air? A-E-R, it's called the Next Level Deodorant, and it's by Vapor, Vapor Organic Beauty. And it comes up in a little twisty, Thing like this. You twist this knob and the little product comes out of here. This has been my kind of more spring deodorant. It does control odor pretty well, I would say. It's also aluminum free. It's also pretty natural. The one thing I don't love about it is the package kind of leaks a bit because it's kind of more of an oily formula. And that's it. Does anyone else feel really accomplished when you finish a product, when you like do the last pump of a, of a cleanser or something? It's like, it's like closing a book after you finished it. You're ending that chapter of your beauty life. Am I the only one that feels that way? If you feel that way, let me know in the comments. Nah. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it gives you an idea of like what I've been liking. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have finished up recently or if there's anything I should try. You know I'm always looking for new things. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you want to see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below. And click here to subscribe to Refining29. And click here to watch another video. Bye.